Um, we lost the, cha the challenger, but we didn't want to lose the mission, the education mission. All the families came together in my living room. We sat around my coffee table on the floor talking about our loved ones and how they would like to be remembered. And to a person, we all wanted them to be remembered for what they loved so much, and that was their mission in space. So together we said, let's create an opportunity for the children who are waiting for lessons to um, fly a simulated mission. And all the Challenger families said to me, June, you be our chairman, you go get that done. You've been a school teacher all these years. You know what kids like. And uh, I asked some of my students and some of um, astronauts and mission controllers to help me with the design. And we came up with the Challenger Center design. It's a space simulation where youngsters can fly a mission to the moon or Mars or uh, rendezvous with a comet or save planet Earth. And at this simulation experience, part of it's a mission control, just like NASA's mock-up of NASA's mission control, and part of it's a simulator spaceship. So the youngsters got to fly on their own mission and have a successful opportunity in space, just like our loved ones would have liked. As founding chairman of the Challenger Center, I'm involved on a day-to-day -day basis. All of these 50 Challenger Centers are like my own children. I love them. I'm involved with all of them. The youngsters actually go to the moon with the mysterious Commander Zota that takes them into the future. I travel around the country either for a ribbon cutting for a new Challenger Learning Center or to work with them to visit with the students um, on special occasions. And this year on the 25th anniversary, I'll visit as many of the Challenger Learning Centers as I possibly can. Several years ago, I wrote the book Silver Linings, a tribute to the Challenger 7. Uh, because so many reporters over the years asked me what in my childhood or what in my life um, helped me to turn that tragedy into triumph or to create that lovely tribute to the Challenger 7. So recently, I decided to write the expanded version of Silver Linings. Um, the publisher, Smith & Helwes, we've named it Silver Linings, My Life Before and After Challenger 7. In that book, I respond to the questions that so many people asked about my youth and also about the, the years since the Challenger. Uh, we now have 50 Challenger Learning Centers, so there's a big tribute to children all over the country who visit our learning centers in that new book of Silver Linings. I'm so gratified to see children who have the experience of the simulation on the Challenger Center. It tells me in a way that the Challenger mission continues. Um, I can hear Dick's voice with Roger, you know, we're moving on with this flight in space. I can hear Krista McAuliffe, the teacher's voice, today's lesson will be. The children work intensely on their own mission, not unlike astronauts. And we've had famous astronauts and mission controllers fly missions aboard the Challenger Center. And they say it feels like a real mission to them as well. Um, it, is, it is dreams answered, it's prayers answered, to see the children living the legacy that is still being written about the Challenger crew.